God's help, the sermons would be terrible. And I'm personally in the ministry, I made the mistake of trying to sit down and write out a sermon and follow it. But that was horrible. It was a disaster. You can't write down the words of God. Yes, He will give them to you, and sometimes, sometimes they seem odd. Take the most scary thing that happens is times that I'll get up here and suddenly what I thought was going to be the sermon isn't. God sits there and says, no, but I want you to preach on something else. If you don't think that's not scary, it's scary, try it sometimes. But it's about trusting God. It's about being married instead of Martha. It's about listening and trusting in God's Word first. Not as an afterthought. Not when you have time. Not when you fit it in. But first and foremost. Stop and think next time you start to put off church or put off doing something that you know you should for God. Stop and think about this and ask yourself, is this really the way to show God I'm listening? Is this really the way to honor God? I think you'll find that there's all kinds of things that we, we want to do, or we choose to do, that do exactly the opposite. And folks, the only saying in the world, and it's told here in the Bible, is that words... Words may speak loud, but actions speak much louder. When you put something else ahead of God, He knows it. And He remembers it. Stop and think what you would feel like if it comes judgment day when God says, well, I haven't got time for you right now. I'll get back to you later. Sorry, you're left out because I didn't have time, but I had something else I had to do. The creator of the universe took time to come down and be a part of us, to be as human as we are. We are that important to him. He died on the cross for us. Because we meant that much to Him. Ask yourself, what comes first in your life? What comes first when you decide to do other things rather than do something you ought to, really ought to be doing? Oh, but this other is important. This other, there's nothing more important than God. There's nothing more important than doing what he says. And one of the things he made real, real clear. What are we supposed to do on the Sabbath? We're supposed to honor it and keep it holy. And folks, I've never understood that to mean entertaining company. Or cooking something. Or making sure something was warm. I would think all those things come second. Like I said, some of you can figure I've done a lot of meddling this morning. But I hope what you can hear is, is I'm holding up a little sign of warning saying, be sure what you're doing fits with what you say you are. To all Christians, God comes first. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this morning, we come and ask your guidance and blessing. We do ask, Lord, that you fill us each one anew with thy Holy Spirit. Fill us to overflowing, Lord, so that others that we are around touches, are touched by that Spirit too, even those who aren't looking for it. For Lord, it is that Spirit that helps us change and become your children. Guide and direct us, Lord. Baptize us with that Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Stand and sing our closing hymn first in the hymn of 397.
message of Christ out into the world. To go with the Holy Spirit to teach and guide you. The Heavenly Father's love to support you. I send you forth in Christ's name. Amen.